Today's nugget is found in Acts chapter 26, verse 32. It says, Then said Agrippa unto Festus, This man might have been set at liberty if he had not appealed unto Caesar. God, we're so thankful to yet again be able to come before your throne. And God, I pray that as we're going over your word, God, that you would open our hearts and our minds to receive what you have for us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Now, in Acts chapter 26, it starts off by saying Paul's defense before Agrippa, how he started out and was a Pharisee. He actually defines himself in another book that says he's the, he was the Pharisee among Pharisees. He was, the, he was the best there was, the stock of Benjamin. So he, he also says how he was a persecutor, how he very violently persecuted the church. Like he went with, ver, uh, with vigor. He was just going to do everything he could to try to persecute people of this way. And then Paul relates the story of his conversion. And then it goes right on after that. It talks about his missionary activity, how he goes to the Gentiles, how he went to those that were in Asia, to those that were in all these uh, different surrounding areas. And then he says that after that, Festus charges this man with madness because he's talking about the resurrection of the dead. He, he brings it up a few times about how Jesus was resurrected from the dead. And now Festus is just saying, man, Paul, you're mad. You're not even, you're not even in your right mind. But then Paul says, no, I am in my right, right, right mind. I'm not mad. And then the appeal to Agrippa, he's talking, uh, he's talking through all of this. And Agrippa says, you know what? You almost persuaded me to be a Christian. And then Paul says, you know what? I would that not only you, but everybody here, that they would be both almost and persuaded to be a Christian. And then Paul is declared innocent by Agrippa and Felix privately. Not around, when anyone's around, but uh, Agrippa basically goes to, Fel to Festus, not Felix. He goes to Festus and says, this man would have been set free had he come before me. So if he would have went to Jerusalem, which is what Festus is recommending, he would have been set free. And this is one thought that I want to bring back to you. It's just like what it said when Fe uh, Agrippa said to Festus that this man might have been set at liberty if he had not appealed unto Caesar. Do you want to be free without God or bound with God? That's just that's the thought that I want to share with you. Basically, do you want to be outside of the will of God and you're free? You're able to walk around and not have any chains on you? Or do you want to be bound in prison like Paul was, but you're in right, slap, uh, right smack dab in the middle of the will of God? Is where, where do you lie today? Do you want to have freedom at the cost of being right with God? Or do you want to be bound like Paul was, where you have a lot of difficulties that you deal with because of, because of the nature of where God's bringing you to, that there was a lot of hurt, there was a lot of pain, physical or even spiritual, that you may have had to deal with and go through. Do you want to have that? Or would you rather not have any of that and then you don't have to worry about you know God really dealing with you because you're just trying to live on the fence. You're, you're, you go to church when you can. You use work as an excuse more than not to, to be able to get out of it, especially now that we have live stream church. We can just sit at home and we don't even have to go to church now because we can still be a part of church even though that we're not really, our lives are far from the Lord and aren't even, aren't even close. Do you want to be free without God, without God's approval on your life? Or would you rather have to deal with the difficulty of having to uh, go about the daily grind, having to go in prayer and, and study and, and making sure that everything in your heart is right with God? That's the question that I want to leave with you. Do you want to be free outside the will of God? Or do you want to be bound right inside the will of God? God, we come to you right now and I pray that you deal with us, Lord. God, let this message be something that really sticks with us. Don't let this be something that's easy to get away from us, Lord. In Jesus' name.